To discuss the trip and why it is so important, France 24's Mark Perelman is with me. And Mark, what, what then do you think is particularly significant about the Pope's visit right now? Well, first of all, it's a visit uh, he wanted to make. He was scheduled to do it uh, last July. However, because of his knee uh, problems, he couldn't uh, make it. It's important for him because uh, the DRC is uh, the country in Africa uh, where you find mo the biggest number of Catholics, around 50 million. There are also lots of Protestants, so it's uh, obviously an important uh, trip uh, for him symbolically, but it's also a country torn uh, by violence, by conflict, uh, by political instability, and it's a huge and rich country. And so clearly he will want to deliver a message uh, of peace. We've seen him doing this in a number of places and a number of issues. And obviously uh, the key will be how he will address the situation in the east of the, co uh, the country. Uh, he was supposed uh, uh, during his uh, scheduled trip last July to go to Goma, the capital of North Kivu. Uh, this has been canceled. Why? Because the security situation has worsened. We're seeing fighting between the Congolese forces, the M23 rebel group, and we're also seeing uh, tensions between DRC and its neighbor Rwanda. DRC is accusing Rwanda of essentially using the M23 against it. So every word uh, the Pope will say on this conflict, whether he will point fingers only at the militias or maybe at the ones uh, suspected of helping them, uh, will be carefully watched by all the Congolese. Uh, as I said, he will not go to Goma. However, he's supposed to meet tomorrow with a group of victims uh, of violence from the East. They will travel to the capital, Kinshasa, to recount to the Pope what they've witnessed in recent months. So lots of focus then on that conflict in the East of Congo, Mark. But he's also expected to talk about the elections in Congo, isn't he? Tell us a bit about that. Right. It's rather unusual for a Pope to visit a country in an election year. The elections are scheduled uh, for the very end of the year in December. Uh, however, it's the Catholic Church plays a very, very important role when it comes to the elections. Right now, we have enrollment. Uh, the electoral lists are being uh, revamped. And the Catholic Church, as well as the Protestant Church, are playing an active role in monitoring uh, how the enrollment is uh, going. They're telling the government, we want you to do this. Uh, there was uh, some uh, infighting between the Catholic Church and the president, Felix Chisekedi, whom the Pope will meet in a few minutes. When uh, the president appointed the head of the Electoral Commission, uh, the Catholic Church said, we don't think it's the right person. And the Catholic Church has already said that, like in the last election in 2018, they will be monitoring uh, the votes on voting day. They will be present at the ballot box. Uh, let's just remind our viewers that in the last election in 2018, the Catholic Church came up with its own tally of the voting, and they said that the man who won the election was Martin Fayoulou and not the one who claimed uh, to have won the election, the current president, Félix Tshisekedi. So also... There again, whatever the Pope will say in terms of ensuring that the elections will be fair and will be transparent is going to be keenly watched by the Congolese as they are preparing for uh, those very, very important elections toward the end of the year. Mark Perelman, thanks very much.